So we decided to take a look at some of the names that are third string quarterbacks. Um, it is not a, a great list by any stretch of the imagination. Case Keenum was here. Um, you see Bridgewater, I don't think that's going to happen. Mike White. Flacco's going to end up starting. You mentioned Brian Hoare, I don't think that's going to happen. You, you get down Mason Rudolph, yeah, I'm not, I'm not jumping up and down about that. You know, that, that could be a guy. Chase Daniel, eh, there is not a lot of names that are likely to be available um, as you look through those. Yeah, none of those guys, none of the third stringers really intrigue me. They're all young. And the whole purpose of getting somebody in is to get somebody who has potentially started um, and has significant experience because Josh Jobs has only taken 17 snaps. So while that sounds like a great idea, I, I had a tough time finding a name there. And those were all of the, the depth charts of quarterbacks. Do you got a magical name you can, you can drop on us that might make sense? I, I got a secret I can tell everybody. This is top tier information for anybody watching this live. There is no such thing as a good option for your third string quarterback. Like, there's no third string quarterback. You're like, yeah, let's see. You know what I mean? There's a reason why they are at that point. You're not going to feel much different about Josh. Honestly, you might feel much better about Josh Dobbs going in there than you would if you threw Matt Barkley out there, right? Like, like because at least you know Matt Barkley's bad. Like, Josh Dobbs, you don't know what that is. Only 17 snaps. He might be okay, right? I think people mistake familiarity at the quarterback position with, like, skill at the quarterback position. And that's what this whole conversation has been, is people swapping out Jacoby Brissett, a name they're not familiar with, swapping out Josh Dobbs, a name they're not familiar with with other names of other quarterbacks who are seen at the same tier but these are guys that we're familiar with right it's it's just a familiarity game where they just you know i don't know what josh dobbs is well who at the point when you're at your third string quarterback would you rather know that you have a third string quarterback or would you like to take the chance that you might have somebody who could be a second string quarterback back there we don't really know what josh dobbs is and we're not gonna he's not gonna have the opportunity to let us know who he is unless he has an opportunity to play and we can't let somebody not play because they haven't played because then nobody gets experienced that way right so it's a i've heard people freak out about this quincy what do they do if they get to get to, they get to the third string quarterback they panic like they did last year and just hope they can hold on and win a game <laughs> like what do you mean what does any team do when they get to their third what's baltimore going to do if it comes down to what they got they, they got two quarterbacks there one backup and then i think they have they have like nobody there in third string. Like it's who what's any team gonna do if they get to their third string quarterback is the real question. And once you get to week eleven, you feel good about Dobbs as a third string quarterback. I just I think we have over dissected the Browns quarterback position to the point to where we're really talking about trade value for third string quarterbacks. On national TV, too. Like, that's Peter King. Like, it's not yeah, like, yeah, no. you know, me doing it on my I, YouTube channel. That's I, like people big business, you know? <laughs> I, I, I loved the idea. I'm like, all right, Brian, let's go find some of these third string quarterbacks. And we're looking at him. I'm like, yeah, this is not a good idea. That's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it, it's like going to the Claire's rack at TJ Maxx. <laughs> like, oh, okay, this is why this is the Claire's rack at TJ yeah, Maxx. You pretty know, much. It sounds like a great idea. Get two T-shirts for five dollars. Do you realize that's why one of the sleeves are significantly longer than the other? That's why this is in the TJ Maxx Claire's.